Jackson, the Division Director of Infectious Diseases, and I'm here with my partner, Dr. Chris Harrison, who's our Director of Infectious Disease Research here at Children's Mercy. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about what measles looks like. By now, you've heard that there's an outbreak in our community. We certainly don't want everyone to worry that their child has measles, and we want to tell you a little bit about what this actually looks like because many doctors in our community have not seen measles. We've do done such a good job since measles vaccine came out many years ago. Right. So Chris, do you want to outline what we might worry about? Yeah, I think that you, you don't want to be panicking about every little thing that happens. It's a certain combination of things. And the things that we look for who've seen measles before is red eyes, you want to have a bad cough, bad runny nose, and a rash that starts on your head and sprinkles down across the body and gets more dense at the top as it starts popping out on the bottom. That combination of three things in addition to the fever are the main things we should be worried about. Most children with measles are act actually very miserable. They have very high fevers, and it can be as high as 105 when it first starts. The fever always starts first, as Chris says, with the cough, with the red runny eyes, with the runny nose. And it's only three or four days later, while that fever is still there, that the rash starts. And in those particular cases, the rash has a particularly uh, characteristic appearance about it. Besides the fact that it starts on the head and works its way down, these red, flat areas that come up initially and then can be felt um, can blanch, meaning if you press against the skin, initially those little red areas will go away. But as the rash becomes, as Chris says, more dense, this rash becomes non-blanching and actually very extensive. And a lot of the red spots will come together. Yeah, it's the, the classic rash that runs together. It doesn't stay as individual little dots. In many cases, the rash will last for four or five days. About the time, you know, two or three days into the rash, the child starts getting better. But there are complications of measles, and that's why we emphasize vaccine. You don't want to have natural immunity through getting measles. You want to have natural immunity by getting a vaccine. And one vaccine, Chris, what percent of measles can we prevent? We can prevent 90% of measles with one injection. And with that second dose that's given before children go to kindergarten, we'll protect about 97% of children. So don't get natural measles, get natural vaccine.